prominent academic in Uganda has gained a reputation for repeatedly criticizing President Yoweri Museveni. Nyanzi has emerged as a fearless and bold crusader of human rights. It was November 2018 that they took me and they never saw freedom until February 2020. My name is Stella Nyanzi. I am a dissident poet. I am also an activist, also a politician. I utilize the genitalia of the president's mother very symbolically. I was asking myself, what are the material conditions? What are the economic and political conditions that gave birth to this monster? When I use poetry, I use it as a weapon. The state decided to misunderstand, misinterpret. I was declared an immoral, <laughs> vulgar, obscene woman whose language should never have seen public light. And so I was criminalized. I was charged with cyber harassment and offensive communication against the president. Dr. Stella Nyanzi today appeared before a court for the second time in as many days. In her plea, Dr. Nyanzi, through her lawyer, Isaac Semakade, asked for time to seek medical attention from her private doctor. However, prison authorities had declined to release her medical records. I was beaten and tortured and taken to solitary confinement. When in prison, I discovered I was actually pregnant. Due to torture by prison wardresses, I had a miscarriage. I wasn't able to reclaim my baby, but I ensured my voice was never taken away, my ability to write was never taken away. In Uganda, increasingly, people have less faith in the law and in the law institutions. And programs like Trial Watch contribute a great deal to reviving faith, rejuvenating uh, fidelity in the rule of law, and animating the ideals of the international human rights instruments, and as well as the promise of the, our own constitution. Having outsiders who were not from Uganda helped a lot signified to the judicial system that somebody's watching the process. Be careful, be very careful. There were about four different judges from the High Court who were assigned my file and they refused to touch it. They said no, 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 four times. I think this fear of judicial officers to be assigned my file speaks to a real fear that there will be repercussions after the trial watch had graded us with a D. When we introduce a trial watch program, we invert the prison, we disrupt the whole justicing mechanism. We threaten power, we threaten privilege because they are not used to working under independent observers. The appellant is ordered to be released immediately unless he's held over some other lawful charges. If you want to beat me for my heartfelt birthday poem, come and find me at my home. Ask the border border men to direct you to Mama Stella's house with a red gate. I refuse to be God.